Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Stellaris. I'm Sabouts and I'm here with Mel. Hey guys! Doing, Mal? We're ready for some more Bromance Cute Force. Bromance Cute Force! <laughs> gonna liberate the Serene Foxtail commonality and the Serene Foundation here. Just kind of continue to deliver freedom to the front line. <laughs> now should I, um... We'll just continue the trend of taking the systems closest to us, right? That's what we're gonna do? Yeah, that seems to be working really well. And that's okay. nice, because that'll actually take the Serene Foundation's last system that's bordering us. So, let's see. So, we want... What is that? Zerpator or something like that? What is it? No, Pelladrum, yeah. right? Yeah, Pildram or Pildrum. Alright, so we want that. I... And then we want... Breary. EB or whatever? Yeah, e Breary. And, and then, Arrakis. Yeah, Dune, Desert Planet. Not a drop of water. Nice. And can we take more? That's 98 war score. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's all we get. All right, here we go. Bink. I like, At least wars. Our... I like wars with these guys better. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, it's a lot more... Uh... It's more fun, right? Yeah, it's... It, I mean, I don't want to say it... That it's fun to beat up on smaller empires, but it is fun to beat up on smaller empires, so... <laughs> I'm jumping I'm to gonna... Pildrum. Okay, I could... I could jump at the Pildrum. I don't know if they're even going to have a fleet that can... Like, I don't know what their capabilities are. I guess we'll find out. Not much, I don't think. I think the Foxtail commonality might have a little bit, but I know the Serene Foundation's probably done for. How much could they really bring the bear? There we go. Here's their fleet right now. It's 93k. With 20 more K. And then 30k for their Federation fleet. And then the Serene Foundation's bringing about 60k. Uh, oh. The 60k fleet is engaging me and Pildrum. Yep, I'm on my way now. We should definitely engage that fleet and destroy it before the reinforcements arrive. I'd imagine our Federation should be coming to join us shortly. And I am also continuing to queue up as many ships as I can. I see that they haven't jumped in yet to help their allies, so that's good. Are they turning around? They are turning around, or they don't know what they're doing. They're like... I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of like they're like confused. weirding out or something. Well, that's okay. I guess let them weird out. Look at them. That's so weird. They're like it's almost like they don't know what to do. Like they're getting conflicting orders. They're getting they're getting three different orders. One's the maneuver towards the planet. One's the maneuver towards us, and one's the maneuver towards the border and escape. That's kind of what it seems like. Yeah. Well, that's odd. All right, well. Confused AI. That's you all see, right. Do you see how all my ships are pretty much staying together since I made those changes and gave a bunch of the ships slower uh, engines? I do see that, yeah. Yep, I do see that. It seems to be working out really well. All right, now they're finally, after we just started beelining to them, they finally made a decision to escape. Are we going to catch them? That is the mm, question. Probably, probably not, because I'm going to... I'm going to... We're both engaging this mining station. Had we not engaged this mining station, we probably could have caught them. We got 15 days to catch them. Actually, they're not jumping. They keep... Yeah, what's going on? They're like, gonna jump, not gonna jump. Oh, they're doomed. Oh, they're engaged now. They're toast. Oh, oh they're so you're doomed. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, they're about they're to have... They're getting so many conflicting orders. They're about to have bad It was times. interfering with their jump drives. And now... Oh. They're going to pay the price. Oh, they're, that's, that's an official face smashing right there. It was just like Tachyon Lance's opening fire instantly vaporizing everything. Look at that. Wow. Imagine just being on like one of those ships and knowing that you're just completely Oh, you gotta doomed. be kidding me. Uh oh, what happened? 
This guy that I just got to five star. Guess what trait he just picked up? Oh boy, your God, favorite trait. God dang it! <sighs> stupid, Only your favorite. Stupid unyielding. It's like, come on, really? I All want right. to be unyielding. <sighs> the reason that's so oh, frustrating I... is because it literally, like, it's then a worthless admiral. Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah. worthless right there. Boom. Not. I mean, uh, maybe unyielding. Honestly, maybe unyielding might not be bad for this particular war. We're not going to run across a fleet that you have to worry about. Well, yeah, but I'm not going to I'm not going to give experience to. If I'm going to if I'm going to be training another admiral, I want it to be an admiral I'm going to keep. Right. So I don't want to. Yeah, that's true. Might as well just get another admiral and go from there. That's true. That is true. I've got troops coming in now. Go ahead and take this planet. Okay. Well, I think they're a little ways out. Let me check and see. Yeah, yeah, they're coming in. They're a little ways out, though, but they're on their way. All right, I'm going to go ahead then. You're going to stay here for a bit, right? Yeah, I'll stay here. If you want to go, I'll go harass to them. I'll go to or whatever. I'll jump there. Okay. Let me know if you have any issues. There's a 93K fleet in Arrakis. Okay. As well as a, actually, I'm sorry, it's 113k fleet as well as a 30k Federation fleet. It's not moving right now, but it might they may right? get kind of, yeah, they make it kind of antsy. All right. Well, what I'll do then is I'll take this planet. I'll send some troops, and then we can go there together. I'll take this one and then we can go to Arrakis together. I think that'll work. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess all the fortifications were down, but that should be okay. Maybe. Am I going to take this plan? going to be close. Where's my reinforcements? Here they are. Hurry, land. I'm getting engaged by the 30k Federation fleet. What a joke. I can't believe they sent that after me. Trying to stop you from taking the planet, but oh, That's... they're getting smashed. Goodbye. Actually, they did stop me from taking the planet. But I gained fleet logis uh, logis logistics. Uh, logistics, but that's not. Yeah, I gained that. That's cool. They did stop me from taking the planet, though. Well, only temporarily. Yeah, well, they, yeah, because the forces on it ended up getting destroyed, unfortunately. Because I wasn't bombarding it, and my reinforcements got caught up in the fray. Oh, Pecula Star is jumping in, though. I got the planet now. But the planet is now ours. I'm wait for those troops to heal up. I'm going to go ahead and jump into... Let's see. You're in a rebrain now. How you doing there? You're good. You got troops coming in or you need some of mine? Uh, in Ibri or whatever? No, yeah. I, got, I got troops coming in. Okay, Federation uh, is with me. Actually, uh, troops already landed. I took it. Actually, are they, are they following me? It would appear so. I don't have a whole lot of ground forces, but I'll put them on standby. Oh, enlighten them, enlighten it, enlightenment complete. In Jindet. Now I can communicate with them. Ah, yes. All the enlightenment we're doing. That was a really good idea. So when these guys, I guess once they have a certain level of tech, then we'll be able to integrate them. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see. Our allies are here helping us, but it looks like they're somewhat on their own program. All right, we want to jump to that other system then? Yep. Yep. If you want to jump that way, I'll jump there too. The question is, will they, the question is, will they actually fight? See, they might. 
I mean, we're going to jump in on the fortress. Yep. Um, there we go. How many days out are you from jump? Two. Okay, I tried to time it a little bit so we jump in around the same time. Kind of hoping that I jump in before the fortress is destroyed. I did. I jumped in right when you destroyed it. Perfect. Perfect. I, I tried to time it so we jump in kind of on top of each other. I didn't want to have one of us fighting by ourselves. So this works out because we're both right here. Are they trying to retreat? That looks like they're just as confused. Nope, they're going to engage us as they destroy my reinforcements. Actually, though, that kept them from... That counted as engagement, so your ship sacrificed, but now they can't leave. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. Because now we're going to destroy them. You know, they got a little bit, but it ain't much. Nah. It's mainly just a bunch of like little straggler fleets around the big fleet. Now we got this. Oh, yeah. Losing ships much quicker than we are. We're not really losing anything. I'm losing a few here and there. I'm kind of watching the report as it goes down. Yeah, but, but you're losing like 1k dropping. to their 5. Yeah, just drop yeah, another 5. Yeah, that's what it is. About 1k to 5. Oh, and their shields actually, are gone. About, yeah, it's now, actually, it's about 1k <laughs> to... It's about 1k yeah. to 15. <laughs> Oh, well, there goes their entire military again for the what time now? Like the hundredth time? I don't know. Haven't we fought? We've fought these guys like at least eight times, I think. Yeah. Eight to ten times we fought these guys. And we just destroy them every time. I think the first war was the only one that was like somewhat sketchy. Like, are we going to win? Are we going to lose? I'll go bombard the other planet if you want to do this one. And then I'll, I'll grab some troops. Okay, that works. I'll bring my troops in as well. Actually, I'll get them stationed outside ready to go. Well, that's perfect. Then we're both going to bombard these planets, and I'm pretty sure our allies are off just kind of destroying infrastructure, which is something we've wanted the, to be doing. Yeah, they're kind of flying around just destroying stuff. They're in Rixum right now, right? No. Where are they? Oh, maybe they're not flying around anymore. Thought I saw them, but... Either way. Ah, there's the Velpecula stars. They are. They're over kicking in the front door of the Serene Foundation. That's kind of funny. We'll figure after we take all these planets and whatnot here, our Federation might be strong enough to take on the Felinus Redacticus if we end up figuring out that we're going to need to do that. We don't know yet. Yeah, I'm not. I, oh man, I'm like super hesitant to. Oh, I'm super hesitant to engage them. Yeah, you're not the only one. Not really something I want to do. But it may have to happen, so we'll find out how uh, powerful we can actually get this planet here. Actually, very heavily fortified. It may. I mean, probably should have waited for more reinforcements. I wish I had so many troops earlier and I lost them during the Battle of the Flinus Redacticus. I lost probably like 800 power worth of troops. Now I'm just oh, flying around you? with like 100. Yeah, yeah, I lost a lot of troops. And then I lost a couple on the planet earlier, but that's okay because it looks like... It looks like I'm still going to just get lucky and take this planet. Reinforcements are a ways out, so these guys aren't going to be getting reinforced. They're going to have to make do with what they've got. But it looks like I'm going to take it, just barely. So that's nice. Yeah, I attacked this with like 2200 fortifications still up, not thinking. Oh no. And my guys, my, I didn't lose anybody, but they lost like half their health. Yeah. But just fine. But, Whatever. They'll heal up. Yep. I got this planet. I just took it. Oh, they surrendered? 
Or was that the Our... last? Bye. Oh, I have no choice but to give in to your demands. I th I think we took. That was it. We took the last of. Huh. That's weird. I've never seen him just do it like that before. I've had it happen before. Mm -hmm. Um, I th what it happened was we probably had a hundred. Oracle. So they just okay. they just went ahead and submitted. Okay. So, well, that was easy. All right. Well, I'll take that. If they all went that way, right? <laughs> I know. Lena should die because I'm looking at you. We're looking at you. All right, I've sent the deal to you. That wasn't bad at all, then. It hasn't come up yet. I think it's... It's stuck for a second. It's it's thinking. I see that, yeah. There we go. All right. Hi, Starfish! What up? Nice. Look at this. Okay. Starvation. What are you guys starving for? I forgot the Felinus Redacticus went to war with the Praetor Republican colonies. That doesn't seem to be turning into anything. No, it's nothing. They don't seem to be attacking each other. They just seem to be kind of sitting around, so I'm not really sure, like, what the deal is with that. That's what they want to do. But we just extended the front line up. Which is good. Wow. That... One of these places, I didn't even notice. What is Technological Enlightenment progress on Sepia Vada? Oh, okay. One of these um, planets I didn't even notice. I just took a closer look at it. This is the first time I've seen this. I actually had two space coal on it. Two Baratheon stone or Baratheon. Oh, Baratheon no stone. However Batharian. you want to pronounce it. Yeah, yeah. it looks 24 credits a pop. Like, that's insane. Oh, wow. Yeah, right? Wow, well, yeah, that's not bad. Crazy times. I don't know if that's one that you gave me now or one that I already had. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty nice, though. We're actually fairly large. I'm surprised that we don't even... I mean, you look at our size kind of now, like both of us. I'm somewhat... Shocked that we still can't stand up to the Flinus Redacticus. Yeah, there's just, just kind of cra kind of crazy runaway. AI Actually, there. I have over a thousand naval capacity. You should too. I've got close to a thousand. Okay, so our. I guess the a thousand isn't the cap like we had originally thought. You have over a thousand naval capacity. Yeah, yeah I've got a thousand nineteen. Huh, I thought the cap was a th the cap used to be a thousand and you could build over it. But you know, you incurred additional penalties. Yeah, I actually have 1021 now, it just keeps growing. But I've only got 700 of it filled. And I'm at 138k, so at a pretty good spot. I'll probably be by the time I hit a thousand, I'll probably be about 200k. I'll be over 200k actually. Building more troops too. Building more everything. Yeah, just keeping stuff queued up. I've got lots of ships coming in. And going ahead and getting troops built up. And I need to. There's something. Oh, I want to go through the planets again. I'm kind of going through and checking and making sure. All my planets are being taken care of and they're growing. Yeah, I need to take a look, closer look at the surface of all these newer worlds because I haven't really. I I don't. I won't them. lie. 
I've just totally been like dumping all the new worlds into the sectors. I'm sure they're not growing as good as they could be, but I just don't. I took. I almost went bankrupt earlier because I had so many planets under my control, so I had to create a second sector. I can only have twelve. You can have like what, like twenty-two? Twenty. I'm twenty-six of twenty-six. Oh, my God, that's insane. It's a lot to keep up with, too. Honestly. I would say so. It's a lot of planets. I mean, I'm only managing 12, and I feel like that's a lot. I couldn't even imagine 22. That's just insane. I'm just checking them right now to see if they have things like, you know, do they have uh, paradise domes and stuff like that? Because that's sort of like low hanging fruit, you know, plus to happiness or plus to habitability if their habitability is oh. bad. Yeah. A lot of them don't have it, so that's a good, good, quick little thing to toss on there. We can't declare war. Until 2692, are the are these guys still at war with the Flames for Dacticus? They are. I'm just starting to think that war is like never going to end. <laughs> we'll find out. I mean, neither of them are attacking each other, so. It doesn't seem to be really going anywhere. Oh, there they go. They made peace. Oh, did they oh, finally? Yeah, it took long enough. I don't even know what the terms were. Uh, doesn't really look like anything changed. I'm kind of bummed out. I was hoping for something different. Well, yes and no, though. I mean, if we didn't want them to get more territory. Yeah, I was hoping the... Praetor Republican colonies might... I don't know. I was hoping something might happen. Speaking of the Praetor Republican colonies, are these guys still... These guys still... Um... Are they, are they still an association status? Yeah, they are. <sighs> oh, it puts us in a really weird spot. It does. I mean, we could declare rivalry against them, but I don't know how our buddies would react to that. Who, against the Praetor Republican colonies? Yeah. But would it even really help us? I don't know. Yeah, this is this is a tough spot because we really don't have anyone else to go get. Exactly. I mean, we can't declare war on the the Marians because they're a protectorate of the Praetor Republican, and we can't declare gotta, war on them because they have association status. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just it makes it super tough. You've got a bunch of like small little protectorates inside your territory now too, which is. I'll be able to swallow them up eventually. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, my naval capacity, yeah, you're right. It can definitely go over a thousand now, because... I'm at 11, 28 of 765. I don't know why my naval capacity isn't higher. I don't get it. I have Grant the Grand Fleet enabled. Look at policies and edicts. Yeah, I have the Grand Fleet enabled and everything. And still not. And it's below a thousand. You said. Yeah, I can effectively support ships equal to seven hundred and sixty-five units worth of naval capacity. 
really I mean, odd. I'm like way over and it's fine. I mean, I'm still, it's not really necessarily a problem, but I have level six spaceports at 26 different planets. It, something's something seems off. Something seems that. really off, right? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure you have more planets than me. Uh, I don't know that I do, though, actually. I don't think I do. Let me look at... Um, well, actually, hover over the naval capacity. Yeah. And take a look at what it says from, like, your base and then from pops from spaceports. I'm getting minus 20% from Protector Zerakim. What the hell is that? Is that my leader? That might be the problem. Oh, he's nervous. My leader is minus 20% naval capacity. Oh, Damn it. there it is. All right, I'm going to hold an emergency election and get rid of his happy ass. <laughs> but he's he's got to go. He's, he's just gotta, nervous. Well, he's got to go. We're going to we're going to support this guy named Zaz. I there we go. Insulted. There I we just go. just insulted the foxtail commonality just cuz. Oh, this is pretty cool. This guy's got plus 10 happiness. Um champion of the people. And then uh he's also got Ah, well, whatever. That's all he's got that's really good, but whatever. Anyway, I got my 20% Oh, back. So, 868. That's a little more reasonable. I was like, what the hell, man? What the hell? Battleships. Battleships. Bunch of destroyers. I don't even build Corvettes anymore. Doesn't seem to be much of a reason to. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking a look right now at the galaxy and where it stands. Oh, we, we've the... we've managed to do it, by the way. Again, <laughs> we get wrapped oh. in. We lose all track of time. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me see here. All right. All right, folks. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. In the next one, I guess we'll be going back to war again soonish, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, soonish. I mean, it, yeah. Well, I mean, I, we just have to keep going after these guys. We can't. We got to finish them off. Yeah. The question is, how close are we to Federation victory once we've got them plus these other protectorates? we got to be pretty close once we absorb them. I'd say so. I'd say we're getting pretty close. But. Not sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. And we also need to. How long or how close are we to getting some of these protectorates? Uh, well, it depends on how quickly they come up in tech. Because that's what it's based on. They have to catch up to a certain a certain level before we can incorporate them. Well, that might take a while too. Yeah. Yeah, it will. It will take a while, I would think. We might just have to figure out something else. Maybe attack them somehow. Um. You know, the other thing we could do is we we could we could go after our own guys, our own federation. Because I because I, I think we could take them. And it's not that we can't, that's the thing. It's like, it's not that we can't muster a force big enough to, to fight the Philanus Redacticus. It's that we can't reliably muster the force because we can't get, we can't guarantee that they're going to show up to the fight. Yeah, exactly. They but if might we took, just but if we took all this territory and we had control of all these military forces, that'd be a different story. Yeah. I guess my, my only fear about that is that, um, we're, it's going to set us back because we're going to lose even though we'll gain it, it's going to be a long war. We're going to yeah, lose all. I, yeah, it would be. It would be a very, I, I, yeah. It would basically be to take all that territory. Oh. Mm, probably 15 wars to take all that territory, if not more. If not more, we've almost been, I mean, we've been in like, what, eight wars with the, and we're not even close. We're only 
I mean, we're probably at least one, two, three, four. We're probably three more wars away. From finishing off these guys, yeah. I yeah. Agree. Well, I think what we do then is, I think you're right. The prudent thing is we finish the wars that we've got in like the Galactic South. And then if we're still short planets, then we'll have to think about, you know, turning on our buddies. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do, whether it's them or we we build up to full capacity and then we do a real heavy over capacity to the point where we bankrupt ourselves and then we go to war with the Fleenus Redacticus. Um, yeah. Well, you and me are both uh, overtaxed, you know, we're like 300 I'm, ships I'm, over naval capacity. I'm, I'm 300, I'm 400 over right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll take it further at, than that. I'm sitting at 219,000 right now. But I'm over capacity. Huge. What about you? Oh, I haven't even caught up the full capacity yet. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're way over on time, so we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, he is Sabouts, I am Mal, and we will see you later.